I'm Porky and I'm CEO of Porky Heifer and CFO of Porky Heifer, unfortunately. I wish I, I wasn't, but anyway, I am. Um, I'm a designer slash activist slash agitator. Um, I try to promote change through the things that I do and I try to demonstrate rather than describe. I'm not a product designer. I'm, I'm, I'm a brand interventionist. I'm not a strategic thinker. I am. I've been blessed with a strategic head. But the problem with strategic thinker is that dude doesn't do. And I want to be known as a creative doer of a strategic thought. It's actually in 2007 when I was at the design in Dover that I decided to change. When I saw things with pe which really got me going. And I saw people making a living. And you know, maybe they weren't wearing Gucci. But that's what I wanted to I wanted to see happy people that could actually speak from the heart and not make a mistake because you're talking about yourself, not talking about somebody else. And that's what I found so hard, talking about a company the whole time. It was very difficult because I'm trying to buy into someone else's ethos when the only real ethos I know and the only experience I know is mine. You know, I think there's a very lot of noise going on. Um, the, the internet and this electronic world is really I think it's been designed to keep us stupid. And there's not enough space where people actually look at what they're thinking themselves and go, fuck, maybe that's a good idea. They're continually talking to themselves and comparing themselves in a societal norm as opposed to an original thought and an original direction. You know, we're tall poppy because tall poppy's been, been said as a bad thing. The, tall pop, the poppies have grown so that there is no tall poppy because you know that the tall poppy gets cut off. And I don't care if I get cut off. I don't care because I'm going to do it. This is what I do. I stand up. Um, yeah, I spoke about my life and just how you've got to keep things simple rather than say save the universe with the CFLs, rather demonstrate straight to them that it's less heat. Less electricity, less energy, less heat. For the first time, you could have a wooden light. I also spoke about my weaver's nest, which are, you know, that came out from everybody talking about zero footprint, zero footprint. I was going, well, why do you need a footprint? Why don't you suspend rather than erect? Um, and it's just kind of a logical thought. And you know, nature was there before. Nature builds in form rather than material. Um, an animal will make the smallest form possible because he has to expend the least amount of energy possible because he might get eaten the next second. So animals are always conserving, but we're not. We build these massive structures which no one ever lives in and stuff. So yeah, it's about, it's about the minimal form and also using sustainable materials. Um, my crate plan, which is a, which is a exercise in recycling, not recycled, because recycled has reached the end of its journey. Recycling is there's still more to come, so it's not a waste yet. I make a message and I take it down and there's zero waste. The idea was to come up all over the world when you think, did that travel? And you go, no, the idea just traveled. We just used the local systems that came up. So you, you're helping the ecology. Huh? And then revealed my little dog ball, which is a silly ball, but it's just, you know, it's a funny idea. And it's one of those ideas which everyone says, are you mad? And you go, yes, I am, and I will do it. That launches worldwide this year. And that's just simply a ball adorned with human teeth. When you put it in your dog's mouth, he looks like a human. I got a phone call from a guy and he said, fuck, I believe in you, man. You the man, you're going to change my product. Huh? I was like, this is what I've been waiting to hear. I was like, yes. Who are you? He said, I'm Shane Harrison from Maverick. And he said that wherever he puts his work, they say, no, you can't, do, you can't advertise a strip bar there. So I was like, okay, so how do you advertise a strip bar? So what I did was I studied categories and I said, who gets away with murder? But I realized fragrance advertising. It's all over the place. And we've got a boob there and we've got a little this there, but because it's Jennifer, it's fine. So I invented the range of perfumes called alibis. The alibis being like you sort of, you've got to explain why nothing happened and you're really late. But wait, it does exist. I did make a perfume, okay? It got in a bit of trouble. And I was told to pull down my pool boards because I had not thought of women. I realized, you know what? I was being horrible to women. I didn't give them the opportunity, so I turned it into a unisex fragrance. and all the charges were dropped. So my thing is be brave, be bold, come up with ideas, use your ideas to get jobs. I believe in that you are the next religion. You've got to believe in yourself. You can't believe in other things. You've got to believe in yourself and your, your place in society. 
And something like design in Dolbert does give you that, that belief in yourself, where you go, hey, I thought of that, I thought of that, I thought of that, I'm gonna go and do myself.